Hello guys, welcome to TechBuzz. Many iPhone users still struggle to transfer data between iPhone and PC. As the most known method to transfer data between iPhone and PC is through iTunes. But iTunes has some limitations like you can connect your iPhone to only one PC. Else the data might get deleted while syncing. So today I'll show you how to transfer data between iPhone and PC or from one iPhone to another with a very easy to use software. So let's get started. So for transferring data, we will use Asus Mobi Mover. This is one stop solution for transferring photos, videos, notes, ringtones, contacts, messages, audio or PDF files between iPhone and PC or between two iPhones. You can use it to download videos from various video streaming sites. It can also help you to backup and restore your iPhone data or WhatsApp data including chats and attachments. And lastly, this app can also help you to convert HEIC format photos to JPEG or video to MP3 files. It's available for both Windows and Mac PC. The link of the app is mentioned in the description below. You can check the details from the link. So this is the user interface of the app. And here you can see the icons of the apps which allow you to transfer data between devices. And first is the browse and transfer method where you can have a look at the data of these apps and manually select each file you want to transfer to your PC. So first we will transfer photos. All the photos that are present in your iPhone will be displayed over here. You can change the way in which you want your photos to be displayed. If you want them to be bigger, then you can choose view as icons, but I have set it to view as list. And if you want to transfer it to your PC, then you can manually select the photos and then click to PC. You can select the path where you want to save them. And all the selected photos will be transferred to your selected location. So once the transfer process is complete, you can click on view files to see the transferred data. And you can see that the photos which I had selected are now available in my PC. And you can transfer bulk photos and videos as well. Yes, it may take some time depending upon the size of the data, but you can do it easily. Similarly, you can select the photos and transfer it to another iPhone directly from here. So as you can see in the photos app of my other iPhone, a new folder named Mobi Mover has been created automatically and the selected photos from my primary iPhone has been transferred to my old iPhone 4S. And the last option is to add photos from PC to iPhone. So you can locate your photos and click open and the selected photos will be transferred to the photos app in your iPhone. So as you can see the photos which I had selected in my PC are now available on my iPhone XR. You can also transfer movies, TV shows or music videos to your iPhone. But make sure they are in MP4 or MOV format else they will not be playable in your iPhone and you may need to convert them before transferring. The transferred videos will be available in the download section of the Apple TV app. So this is a very user friendly software as you can transfer data in a single click which in iTunes was really painful. So this can be a worthy alternative to iTunes as it comes with some additional features as well. Similarly, you can transfer music, voice memos, playlist or even ringtones from PC to iPhone or vice versa or from one iPhone to another and the transferred music will be there in the Apple Music app. So you don't need to be dependent on your Apple Music subscription for high quality audio playback. You can also transfer PDF or iBooks as well. Just select them and click to PC or if you want to add new files then you can click the add button. So this can be really helpful because you can keep a copy of some important documents on your iPhone as well as on your PC to prevent any issue in the future. You can also use this app to import or export your contacts to PC or share it with other iPhone. And all the transferred contacts are in vCard format so you can also mail them and download them on iPhone or Android device to get those particular contacts on your other device. Next is messages. You can have a look at each and every message over here, select them and transfer it to PC. The messages are saved in an HTML format and you can read them on your PC or any other Android device using your browser. Every user has some important notes in their phones and using Asus Movie Mover, you can copy those important notes to PC or to another iPhone in just a click. So you won't lose any important detail like some important information, transaction detail or similar kind of stuff. So this can be really helpful feature. And since these notes are exported in HTML format, you can read them directly on your browser of your PC or even on Android phones. So the hassle of converting it from iPhone's format to Android format gets vanished. Last but not the least, you can also use this app to delete unwanted apps to clear some space, transfer app data or add IPA files. But the add IPA file works on jailbroken devices only. So in browse and transfer, we had the option to view each and every file and transfer it individually. But in the quick transfer method of iPhone to PC, you can only select the particular category which you want to transfer from iPhone to PC. You can't select individual files. So once you have selected the category, you can click transfer and it will make a local copy of all those selected files on your PC drive. So the process is complete and a folder named exported by Mobi Mover has been created on the desktop of my PC. And here you can see all the files properly categorized according to the type in different folders. Next we move to the PC to iPhone section. 
and in the selection dialog box you can select files of different formats in bulk like be it photos videos audio pdf or any other supported file and they will be transferred to iphone in their particular apps so this will be really easy while transferring thousands of photos videos and audio files as they will be categorized automatically next is from iphone to iphone and here you have to select from which phone you want to transfer the data to other phone and once you have done that select the categories which you want to transfer and just click transfer you can open certain categories and select folders or different options within them or just select the whole category i have selected audio video books and contacts after the selection is done click transfer this may take some time depending on the amount of data you have selected so the process is complete now let's check whether all the selected data has been transferred or not so first we will check videos so i had four videos in apple tv app on my primary iphone and all those four videos have been transferred to my secondary iphone and as you can see you can play them directly without any issue as long as they are in mp4 or mov format next we will check ibooks so i had couple of pdfs in my iphone 10r and all of them has been successfully transferred to my iphone 4s and last the selected audio files have been transferred as well in just one click so why would you choose itunes to do all these things next option is backup and restore which can be really helpful as you can use it before formatting or updating your phone to avoid any data loss and this will make a local copy of your data but in a particular format which will be readable by this app only so your photos videos or other important data are not readable directly from your windows explorer you can check the backups in the backup history option you can view it from here or delete it from here itself so all the data is visible over here category wise but it won't be visible in the windows explorer and you can use this app to restore your data to same or other iphone as well one of the main issue while backing up whatsapp chats on iphone is that you can backup your chats to icloud only but icloud only provides 5 gb of space in the free subscription but what if your whatsapp data is over 10 gb so in that case you can use azus mobi mover to backup your whatsapp data on your pc or you restore it to other iphone or directly transfer whatsapp from one iphone to another which i think is the best way as it is really quick as backing up to icloud and then restoring it depends on the internet connectivity speed and it may take a very long time next you have some additional features like you can download audio and video file from various sites like youtube facebook twitter vimeo soundcloud and daily motion and some more you just have to paste the website link over here and click download it will process the link and show you the video and audio quality options you can select your particular option and click download and it can also download subtitles as well so the download process has complete the file has been downloaded successfully and it's now available on the desktop you can change the download path from settings nowadays most of the phones have advanced compression formats for photos which is heic and some older pcs with windows 7 can't open them directly with the stock image viewer so this app can convert heic images to jpeg format you just need to select the file or drag drop it over here and click convert and in a matter of few seconds the heic image file will be converted to jpeg format and you will be able to view them on older pc or older phones as well and the last feature of this app is that you can convert video files to mp3 format so you can use it to convert your favorite youtube music tapes stories or live concert videos file to audio format to listen to them without needing to keep your display on so azus mobi mover is a really feature rich app which can help you to organize and transfer data between iphone and pc or from iphone to iphone in just few clicks You can download the app from the Azus site. The link is mentioned in the description below. Although it's free, but in the free version you can transfer only 20 files daily. But if you want to transfer bulk files, then you can upgrade to Pro version and the prices for monthly, yearly and lifetime license are displayed on your screen. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any doubts regarding this app, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like and share button and don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the updates on our new video uploads. We will be back with another video soon so till then stay tuned